so welcome back to Outdoors with the Morgans. We have some very interesting numbers to go over today. So just the other day, I filled up this tank with off-road diesel fuel. And by the way, I've had a lot of questions from people outside of the U.S. asking what's the difference between off-road diesel and on-road diesel. Basically, the only difference is the tax man doesn't tax you as much on off-road diesel because it's used for off-road use. But anyway, I put 87 gallons of off-road diesel in this tank. The price per gallon was $3.76. So that comes up to $327.12 for 87 gallons of diesel. Now, just the day before I bought that diesel fuel, I delivered a cord of firewood for $325, one full cord. To give you an idea how much wood is in a cord of firewood, it fills this dump trailer up, heaped up in the center. That's one full cord. So basically, it's the same price, $325 for a full cord of firewood versus 87 gallons of off-road diesel at current prices. So that got me thinking, which gives you the better bang for the buck, firewood or diesel fuel? You know, by volume, you obviously get way more firewood for the same price as you do diesel fuel, but I think the best comparison would be BTUs. How many BTUs do you get per dollar comparing firewood to diesel fuel? Now, although diesel fuel sometimes gets a bad rap by many, it's actually a pretty efficient source of energy. Uh, diesel fuel packs about 139,000 BTUs in every gallon. That's a lot of energy per gallon. And when you think about it, like that new GMC truck that I got, one gallon of diesel fuel, I haven't checked the mileage yet, but it would probably transport, you know, the truck and trailer, maybe 15, 18,000 pounds, probably 20 miles on a single gallon of diesel fuel. So it's pretty efficient. So we said diesel fuel is about 139,000 BTU. Uh, to be more specific, they say it's 138,700. How many BTUs are in a quart of firewood? Well, it depends on the species, but one of my favorites is red oak. Red oak, you're looking at about 24 million BTUs per cord of red oak. Now, what you see right here is a mix of cherry and maple, primarily. Cherry, you get about 20 million BTUs out of a cord of cherry. So, using those numbers, that 87 gallons of diesel fuel that I bought... Uh, you'll get about 12 million BTUs out of that 87 gallons. Out of a quart of red oak firewood, seasoned red oak, you'll get about 24 million BTUs. So you get about twice as many BTUs in a quart of firewood than you do in 87 gallons of diesel fuel. So with that being said, for every dollar that you spend on diesel fuel, you get around 36,000 BTUs. Now, for every dollar that you spend on firewood, you get around 74,000 BTUs. So firewood, basically you get double the BTUs for the money. However, even though you get more BTUs per dollar when you buy firewood versus diesel fuel, and by the way, those numbers would look even better if you produce the firewood yourself, uh, it's gonna depend on what you're using the fuel source in and how efficient it is to determine whether one is better than the other. For example, the big Regency wood stove we have in the building up there, it's very efficient. Uh, that thing heats that entire building, which is almost 3,000 square feet. Uh, so that is a pretty efficient use of firewood. Now, like our Brio pit that we have outside, uh, which by the way, we've been using that almost every night, puts off a nice fire, puts off some heat, but very inefficient. I mean, it eats the wood pretty fast. Uh, but it's nice to cook over, it's nice when you have people over, but it's not the best use as far as efficiency goes when it comes to firewood. But I would say if you want to get down the road in your truck and pull a big trailer behind you, uh, diesel fuel is the way to go. If you want to heat your building or your home, I think firewood is really a good solution. And it's going to depend on how well your uh, house is insulated, what type of stove you're using, whether it be an outdoor burner, which are very efficient as well or just like a fireplace insert, probably not near as efficient as a wood stove, 
But still, I like numbers, which is uh, why I did this. And I was just curious when I realized that that quart of firewood costs the same as 87 gallons of diesel fuel. But anyway, enough about that. Uh, the good news is my free labor, well, almost free. We buy them dinner, but Melissa's brother and his family, uh, they're still in town. And uh, Lee likes splitting wood. Uh, he lives in Vegas. You know, he used to cut a lot of wood with his dad when he was a kid, but not much wood cutting in Vegas. So he said, hey, you want to split some more this afternoon? I said, I'll get a bunch ready. But I got a surprise for them today. I've been kind of picking out the right size poles uh, that we can use that six-way wedge on the Wolf Ridge entirely. The other day we were using the four-way and we had kind of random sizes. So, you know, you're bringing wood back and resplitting it, things like that. All this stuff, I think pretty much everything will just be one pass with the six-way wedge. So we're going to keep them humping. We'll have Lee here. Uh, his son William and Levi and myself. So I got about an hour to cut and get a bunch of wood ready. Oh, something I wanted to mention. I've had several people ask why I don't cut the firewood next to the log splitter instead of cutting it over here and having to move it from here to there. Well, there's two reasons. Number one, I want to keep the mess over here. Over by the splitter, I kind of have all the mess confined to right underneath the splitter. But more importantly, these poles are like 35 feet long. Some may even be longer than that. And it would just be a whole thing trying to get them inside there to cut them to length. And besides, I just like doing it out here. Which to be honest, is probably the number one reason. I got all this cut up here and then over here I got some more decent amount
Well, it's getting towards evening now, and uh, we're getting a nice rain, which we could use. But that time lapse that you just saw, that was 24 minutes of splitting. That's unbelievable. That's a lot of wood in a short period of time. And that included throwing more rounds up to the splitter with the excavator. That's pretty good. Now let's say you heat your home with wood, but you know there's something wrong with you and you don't enjoy splitting wood. This would be a good purchase right here because you and a couple friends could split all the wood you needed for the year in an afternoon for a couple houses. But anyway, I'm gonna push that wood back and stack it up some in the bunker and uh, I think call it a day and enjoy the rain. But I appreciate y'all being here, and I will catch you on the next one. <laughs>